Hello, everybody. I found something on Facebook that was just so fitting for my situation and millions of other people, not just women, men too. And it's a letter from a narcissist. It's, it, it's, 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 it's amazing. Sorry about my uh, crazy look here, but you know, I just wanted to read this to you. Okay. Just imagine you meet someone, right? And you really like them and, and they like you and, and things are going great. You're talking, you're becoming friends or reconnecting, right? And then all of a sudden, um, you're starting to feel something for that person, right? And then, well, you don't realize it, but they know that they're a narcissist, a narcissist, excuse me. Narcissists don't know they're narcissists because well, they're on the verge of sociopathic. So I don't believe they know it. And if they do know it, they don't really care. So I found this letter and I have to read it. It's very fitting for um, many people out there. And let's see if you can relate, okay? Letter from a narcissist. I have to warn you, before we start, you should run. Don't look back. Forget you ever met me. I will break your heart. I will feel no remorse. I will fall fast and hard for you. That happened. And that does happen. I will love you to the point of exhaustion on both parts, right? That can happen. I will make your family and friends love me and vice versa. I will give you hope for the perfect future. Damn. I will speak of marriage and kids. Kids I have already, but definitely marriage. I will get bored, though, and I will lose all interest in your touch, your words, your life. I will pull away without any explanation whatsoever. That happened. It was, it was, it was heartbreaking. You will try to remind me of the good old days and I will have already moved on. You will defend me to your family and friends. You will, I will pretend I have never met them. I will not stop until you hate me more than you ever loved me. Like I said, you better run, but you won't. You think you can fix me, but you're wrong. Now that is powerful shit. Okay. That's powerful. If a narcissist said that to a potential mate or partner, the potential mate or partner would run, but they don't say that. They trickle it in. They say it slowly in, in actions and words too but in actions and the lack of actions and the lack of words. And then they, they book out, they, they, they ghost and you never hear from them again. It's so fitting that I'm going to post this and I want everyone who can relate to this to please leave comments on this. It's important. It's an, it's important because you've got to see the red light signals guys. You've got to look for it. Look for those little nuances, those little idioms, those little things that they say or do that may give you an alarming feeling in your soul and your heart. I'm very perceptive and and I didn't see it. And then when I started seeing it, I was already love bombed. Do you see what I mean? So um, I'm better now. I'm healing. But this is this is a great letter. A narcissist should, should say that to their potential partner. So a narcissist can stay alone forever because that's what they deserve. And that person can really find someone truly who they're supposed to be with, right? So I just wanted to share that with you. Please leave a comment below, guys. Come on, come on. This is a great... Um, it's It has to do with, with mental illness, mental health issues, and it also has to do with relationship problems and issues because a lot of times, you know, speaking as a woman, 
you want to fix that person or help them or be there for them. So you, you take those things that are clearly like a red light, like beeping, 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 and you just put it in a little box and you ignore it when you really shouldn't. So on that note, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and please leave your comments below and let's see if we can get, you know, a little round table going on a little ideas about going, you know, about this because I want to know your thoughts. All right. Peace and love. I love you. It's Jennifer and it's a Sunday night and just chilling, finishing watching a movie called Bless the Child. And then me and Violet Rose are going to watch one of her shows. Okay. Peace and love. And I'll see you on the next ride. And if you have been hurt by a narcissist like I have, don't allow it to destroy you. Move the hell on and search for Mr. Right or Mrs. Right and you will be okay. You will be. I am and you will too.